Hello guys, 84 King Martin here, bring you a video today. And in today's video, because I haven't got around to doing any uh, my other videos for a while, which I wanted to get done, which is going to be Tech and Six uh, survivals and uh, some tag team plays of that. I mean, team battle modes of Tech and Six. Uh, I'm just doing a video on a game I used to play years and years and years ago, actually, believe it or not. Uh, it's called Spin Doctor. Uh, now this is a uh, wand and uh, grid based game as you can see by the top and yeah it's really really old yeah. there was a version of it released on Mac uh, sorry uh, there was a version of this released on uh, the iPhones unfortunately I can't seem to get it uh, but when I seem to down, try to download it it just says it's not available in my region which is kind of annoying because uh, I really wanted to get this on my phone uh, but luckily, thanks to PC and emulation, I managed to get it on this uh, emulator that I'm playing on. Uh, and this emulator is called uh, Macintosh J uh, uh, Macintosh OS 9. It's a pre-built emulator. I might do videos later on uh, showing how to download it if you're not good at installing emulators like Mac OS 9 or near to the point emulator is called Basilic uh, 2 and uh, Sheep Shaver which is the emulators you use to emulate these kind of games and soft old software uh, there is a video on YouTube uh, of a guy who demonstrates uh, this pre-build uh, someone nicely pre-built it and just made it so all you got to do is just download it uh, and simply run it and you haven't got to go for go through the jargon of configuring all the BIOS, etc, etc. Unfortunately, he didn't show how to install games and applications onto it, but it's rather simple. Um, I will do another video at some point showing how to do it and upload it to my YouTube. But without further ado, let's crack on and play a bit of Spin Doctor. So this is something I used to play when I was about eight or nine years old at uh, school. Uh, so yeah, yeah, I'm 38 now, so you're going back easily 20 years. Um, I'll put in the description of the years this was released. There's not many videos of this on YouTube, so, uh, so I thought I'd just do this. So I hope you enjoy it. So let's crack on and start with level one. So I'm just going to knock the volume down a little, but not too much. Uh, so hopefully you guys can hear me. So this is your wand that just gives you a quick overview of the of what you've got to do. So it says, my god, I'll read this out. It says, you are the spinning white dot. Your mission is to grab the rotating gold dot. Hold the command key to swing, which in my case will be control, because uh, it's emulated, uh, not on a real Mac. And then you press the command bar to swing, which is space bar. So you do this. So you press space bar to activate obviously first, you hear that little noise. Then you press space to move back and forwards and when you're ready to swing, you just onto another dot, you press the control. So it, the levels get harder as you go along. Uh, you get acid and all that sort of stuff and other wands and mines and things which are gonna wanna kill you later on. We're gonna try our best to. So, Without further ado, let's uh, crack on with the first level. So obviously we've got to get to the gold dot, which is that spinning, which is that flashing dot uh, in the middle of the screen with a little all around it. Right, so that dot there I've just picked up, which has got a thousand points, they're bonus dots. You get them scattered out throughout the levels. Uh, they get harder to get to eventually because they become multicolored as well as just crystal clear and you've got other ones swinging on them so mm -hmm. you can take the risk of picking them up if you want later on now, there's only one difference with this I'm doing this on the easiest difficulty so basically I get four lives but if I was doing this on any other difficulty other than the easy level I would have a clock on there with, with a timer, which makes this harder. But because I've got on use this difficulty, I don't have a clock to worry about. 
So that's the first level completed. It tells you at the top your bonuses, all that kind of stuff. This is level two, it's called Wands. So you can see we've got a yellow, a yellow wand, a red wand, and a blue wand spinning. We can land onto their respective dots that they're swinging on, but if we make contact with these ones, we are going to die. So you need to avoid hitting them at all costs, or them hitting you. Like that, for instance, which is a bit daft, because I pressed the wrong button. So we'll have another go. Shouldn't be dying on level two. There we go, we successfully got around it. Well, I said these levels are relatively simple at the moment, but they do get progressively harder. This is just a tutorial level to show you how to uh, make your way around per se the map. Uh, uh, what you've got to do and different hazards and stuff you will come across later on. Interesting yeah. thing to note as well, I've never actually completed this game all the way through. There's 106 levels on this game. Uh, I've skipped right through to the last level before, but I've never finished it. I mean, I've never finished the actual game as in like 100% complete from start to end. I might make uh, this uh, Let's Play. I don't know, I'm not sure. Depends if you guys want to see that or not. So now we're on the next level, this is Walls. So if you hit the walls, basically you're just gonna bounce off, nothing more or less. These become a little bit more sinister later on because you do get uh, doors which will open and close. And you'll have enemy ones in certain levels where they are swinging on dots which they have to go over, which is a uh, button to which open the doors and close them so the ones can kill you like that later on invertedly if you're not careful. We will get to those levels later on. So that's level three completed. When you get to a certain amount of points as well, you also get uh, extra life given to you. So this is level four, this is the doors level. So you just swing over that blue uh, thing underneath and that will open the door for you. Swing over it again and it closes it. So just going for the bonus dots while we can, while they're easy to reach. I can't remember how many set amount of points you need in order to gain an extra life. I think it's about 20,000 or something like that, I'm not sure. For those of you wondering, I also have on my channel a video uh, of a similar game. Uh, I'm not sure which one came out first between the two. Uh, the Clockworks, which you can download for Windows PC if you don't want to go for installing an emulator. Uh, I did a few videos on that. was going to be... Uh, let's play, but unfortunately I got it got abandoned, so I didn't resume it.
the last on my channel as well just search clockworks under my name put 84 king martin then clockworks and that will come up and you can also download it as well and i believe it's free right so this this one is the rings these are circular dots with like holes in the middle so basically what these are these are disappearing dots so when you land off of them as you can see the dots will disappear and also to know it's one of the only ways in the game that you can actually kill enemy ones well there's two ways you can kill enemy ones in this game you can kill them by these circular rings if they're the same color they're spinning on them or you can kill them via an explosion in the game by triggering mines which you'll get a level of later on demoed I should imagine I can't remember if there's a demo level of that particular stage or tutorial level I keep saying demo I don't know why <laughs> but as you can see by as you heard by that noise that means I've got an extra life because I collected a certain amount of points uh, Now this is a bit more of a little menacing level up, so this is still tutorials at the moment. I think the first 10 are tutorials. This one's called Spikes. Again, these are something you don't want to touch because these can instantly kill you. Uh, in Clockworks as well, the other version of this game, they get a bit more sinister as well because they can actually start moving on the screen. And yeah. Some of the levels on Clockworks when you've got moving stuff as well as the ones uh, can make it rather daunting to say the least. Now, this is the first example of a tricky. Situation of getting past that one and trying to get the dot. I got it, but unfortunately managed to die at the same point. So we're back down to three lives. Because I've got that dot, I'm not gonna take the risky route of going around that way again. I'm just gonna head straight down to the bottom. And go onto the target dot and exit this level. Right, so here's another level. This is the one I was telling you about a minute ago with the mines. Uh, the only way you can destroy enemy ones, which you'll see in a minute. Right, so this red thing here is the trigger and the cord. Uh, you spin over it to set it off. Once you've set it off, don't hit it again. Uh, the flame, because the flame will also kill you as well. Yeah, there was a lot of stuff in this game which is going to bring you to a quick demise. So, and you'll see in a second, you'll hear the explosion and then mines, that mine will blow up those ones. But unfortunately it will also blow up those blue dots, so we can't get them bonus dots. There you go, they're gone, but unfortunately now we can get through that bit. But we can't pick up their bonus dots because they're now being blown up. So I'm gonna do this until I eventually die in game. Or lose my life, should I say. then I will end the video. Mm -hmm. And this is the next level done. That's level seven completed. Right, so now we're on hyper dots. Basically this is the uh, tutorial for the dots which uh, will teleport you, which are these ones here, which I'm just about to swing over now. 
So these dots there. So when you land on them, they teleport you to a different area. And move your wand around to different sections. Uh, again, they can be problematic too later on because I believe the enemy ones can also use these. I'm not sure. But yeah, later on you have to be careful of these as well. Are they meant to help you? They can kill you. Or inadvertently get you killed. Should I say they won't kill you, but they can inadvertently get you killed. Alright, now another level uh, called Acid Drops, which obviously you can tell is the green stuff scatter all over the screen. Yep. So once you go over this wonderful stuff, it will form into little green balls and subsequently try to chase you all over the place or sometimes it will inadvertently kill itself but very rarely because it's gone off screen and yeah this stuff will chase you all over the map so and it will pursue you until it eventually lands on your dot and eventually ends up killing you as you can see it's now on its pursuit of me and it won't take too long in finishing you off if it lands on your dot so you have to move quick there is only one way you can kill it and that's with the disappearing dots So, which is uh, which was demonstrated in the level of rings. Right, so we're now on plan ahead. This is the door level. So we have to open this door to get through, but as you can see, it's blocked by another door button, which will close it. So we have to go with the first one at the bottom there. Now we've got to make our way to this next dot to open this door. Yeah, it's a bit per se tricky. Did I also mention to you that closing doors can actually kill you too? Yes, they can. <laughs> right, this little sphere here, where I'm hovering now and spinning the wand, that's the save point. So basically, if you die on a level, and you've landed on this prior, uh, you will restart on this dot, so you don't have to restart the whole level from the beginning. Keep that one in mind. Right, this one's opening these doors, this door here, so we've got to get through here. came in disaster then because I nearly touched the red wand. Mm -hmm. Alright, so we need to open this door here. And we've got to go back the way we came because we need to get to the dot at the other end. But I've got to wait for that one there to do its business and get back over the other direction. And get back over here for this inadvertently kills me. Oh no, you bastard. <laughs> yeah, that's just me trying to be clever. So I'm down to two lives now, unfortunately. Gotta be a bit more cautious. Because as you see, the wand went over the door, uh, the switch, and closed the door on me. Lovely.
did the same thing again, but thankfully managed to get through it this time without killing me. Uh, like a div, I've just realised the door on the other side is shut, so I need to go back through and open it again. Seems as though I'm not doing what the level tells me to, which is plan ahead. I'm being a bit of a turd. That's better. We should be able to get through that door before the one gets down there to close it again. Yes. Nice. So eventually now we can exit Persona stage. If you lose all your lives as well, don't worry, you don't have to start all the way from level 1. You can simply restart from the level you was on. The only thing that is a bummer is that you'll lose all your points. So you start back at zero again. Also, I thought I mentioned that because I didn't mention it earlier on. Right, now we have trail level 11. As you can see, those dots there, that blue one, just spinning on multiple colour. So, which means the red one can jump on it as well. Uh, the red one over there, as you can see, it's spinning on the same dot colour. The only dots that the enemy ones won't go onto is the clear coloured ones. Or the, well, uh, they will go onto these as well because it's blue or red coloured. So we're going to go for these bonus dots. Jumping onto the yellow one. Uh, as you can see, there's little thin white wall segments, so and some of the dots are sticking out further. So the ones with the little thin ones are, or the white dots are. Don't know how good your sight is in seeing it. Uh, mean that you can't go over it. So this one here, for instance, you can't latch onto that. Cause it's just too far over. So yeah, it's forcing you to go around another route. So. And to mention as well, I've also gained another life, so I'm back at three lives now. Number 11 in the bag. So as you can see, this one looks menacing, but it really isn't. It's a choice whether you want to go for the bonus dots. The only one I'm going to risk going for is going to be the one at the very top where the red one is spinning. And should I risk it for a chocolate biscuit? Uh, and go for the other bo uh, bonus dots at the bottom. Um, yeah, let's give it a try, shall we? And die doing it. Well, most of me being a twat saying risk it for a chocolate biscuit, so just try to be fucking clever with words, I suppose. Oh well. No, let's not do that. This is a bit taxing, so yeah, we're gonna not go for them dots. It's not down at one life. I've lost two already. So that's two more lives I need to get back, so. Let's just simply end this level. Uh, 
episode on Getaway next. As you can see, they're also going to spin in certain angles, so there's going to be a lot of banging on the side of the wall here to make sure you don't hit these fucking wires. That's it, and then after this, it's literally undyed. So, yeah, you can see this one's a bit of a tricky level. Did I say these levels get harder later on? Because they do. So, As you can see, it's a game over screen. So, for the benefit of the video, I'm going to do one more playthrough and see how far many more levels I can do. Then, after that, I'm going to end this video. So, so you see, I've restarted back from where I was originally. I tried to be heroic and get too many dots and ended up getting killed. Mm -hmm. That was a miracle that I wig wound the hell out of there. How the heck did I manage that without dying? Yes, yeah, so these dots in these games, these bonus dots can make you worry to do uh, get greedy. So, mm -hmm. All right, we're just gonna go at the top because there's too many risks here. That's another life gone. So. So should be okay. Nearly mm -hmm. suicide then, but we managed it. Mm -hmm. Right, let's get out of this rather down the level. <laughs> so we're on level 14 now. I'm gonna do this until I die this last level, so this is called current. So. Uh, obviously, because of the shape of the mines, so and probably to do some, uh, probably a pan on the fuck on the the fruit as well. So, excuse me, I have pins and ends on my feet, so I'm just trying to dress myself. There's nothing worse than sitting there having cramps when you're trying to do something. <laughs> Right, so let's start. So obviously the route we've got to take is over here. This one's not as medicine as it looks. It's just a case of timing and getting it right. Mm -hmm. uh, 
earn some bonus starts to grab up some points. Mm -hmm. Let's see if I can make uh, 10k and then 100k points before I end this loop, before I end this playthrough on this second go. But I'm not sure that's going to happen, so just got to wait and see pie <laughs> on that. So. So to get across these ones, you just have to simply just diverse. Don't press the space bar because I've inverted one. Uh, I've been tricked up by it before in the past. Uh, the inverting of the wand when trying to cross those mines. And the reason why I've lost so many lives in the past on certain levels like this, doing that, because I'm thinking, oh, well, I've already got to press this other key in it. No, nope, I'm going the right direction. I'm spinning the right direction. The wand spins the right direction. So, it's soft well really. I'm gonna go for these blue ones, might as well. And nearly hit the fucking red one. Mm -hmm. Ah, you saw. <laughs> so now I've got to go all the way down there. <laughs> That hurts because that one was not flipping the right way. It was moving up and down, up and down. So it's cost me a life. I'm still going to go for the crystal dot if I can get there. If this blue one doesn't want to play silly buggers and it spins where it's supposed to spin. spun all the way around on that dot where the mines were I would have been screwed and effectively trapped because I wouldn't have been able to avoid it the enemy ones can pass over mines and stuff like that they're also invulnerable to things like acid most things in the game and like so the only two way things that they're not immune to is being blown up and disappearing the disappearing dots later on so I'm going to go for the bonus dots in this level all four I had to reread the top of that level because I almost thought it said fuck <laughs> but I've been like what the fuck <laughs> it's a main and half for a game for a level Dots look easy to get, but they are a pretty fucking thing because you've got four ones spinning on them all the time. Let's exit that because, yeah, I would have ended up probably dying. Uh, I've managed to get a bonus dot, so that's all result. <sighs> Yeah, so these dots do get gradually harder to get to eventually. They're either gonna cost you a lot of lives to get to, or you're gonna find it insanely impossible to get to without doing a lot of moving up and down, up and down, swinging from dot to dot with the one, enemy ones. 
yeah, they're a pain in the arse sometimes to get to. Um, they're probably our sweet temptation in a way, so you maybe want to avoid trying to go for them. Get out of that pickle quick. There we go. But these two on the right hand side, bottom and left, which I've just mm -hmm. got, the bottom one, are fairly easy to get to, so I'm going to get to these ones. Pick up a few more extra points. Let's mm -hmm. like, see if I can try and get 100,000 points on this playthrough before I lose all my lives. Okay, so on level 17 we have an end. And the end is to open the door at the top there to get to the dot. Uh, where those enemy ones are. So, first of all, because I've gone the wrong way, we need to get to the yellow door switch over here. So, we need to open that door at the bottom on the right hand side of the screen with the blue one spinning. And we've got to open the door over here where the red one is swinging, spinning to get to the switch inside that room. Right, so, oh no, I've gone and closed the door to this room, so yep. Let's get on the save point dot. Right now we've opened that door. Because that other one's not going to close it, so we haven't got to worry about that. Because it's not spinning in that pattern. We just have to get out of it. We can simply work over our way to this red dot. killed in the process. I remember last time I tried this one I had a fucking nightmare at this level. Because that red wand in there is a tricky bastard. Now we've got that open, we need to get that out of this room whilst avoiding this red dot. Mm -hmm. uh, red one, should I say. <laughs> Nearly ended up disaster again. You can see this one is a bit of a 
weird rotation pattern. And I'm closing the door more times than I'm opening it because of this flipping one that is annoying as hell. Let's get out of here, we're finally done. Hooray. Flipping it. <laughs> no pun intended, but that was bloody annoying. So we can go over this one. That's fine. We're just going to go into here. Grab these couple of dots. Exit this son of a bastard of a level. Oh, I hoped I was. Unfortunately, now I've got to do it all again. That's got to hurt. <laughs> it does hurt. All that time. All that. Getting that close, then failing. So I'm not sure if I'm going to be getting the 100,000, but oh well, I'm going to try. Ah, bollocks! Bloody wand for fuck's sake. Why did I try to be a hero last time and get them fucking dots? Let's keep going. Spin, spin, spin. Which way are you gonna spin, you son of a bastard? One bang is gonna end up causing me to lose in the minute it's becoming a real fucking pain. That's my last life gone. If I die again, I'm screwed. This one here has cost me more lives than the other one. Red is not my colour at the minute. Yep, and it spun right into where I wanted to go. So that's the end of the video, guys. Uh, I did die three times to that red wand. Um, I will continue again in another video. I hope you've enjoyed this one. Um, like I say, if you've got the emulator Basilic 2 or Sheep Shaver, which is the Mac OS emulator, you can get this game off of Macintosh Gardens. Uh, if not, uh, you can download the, the clone of it.
which is uh, Clockworks for Windows PC. And if I do get a couple of likes on this video, or I like, I will do another uh, video of part two uh, of this, and I'll make this a uh, Let's Play of uh, Spin Doctor. So anyway, guys, I hope you've enjoyed. Don't forget to comment, rate, subscribe if you're new to my to my videos. Um, I'll leave a link uh, in the description how to download the pre-configured emulator. Uh, link to that video because that video has the link to the actual pre-configured emulator, and you can check that out in your own time. Anyway, guys, I'll see you again in another video. Thank you for watching, and peace out.